Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to be looking at a piece of software here on my screen, Braille Blaster, which is a free piece of Braille transcription software. And in this video I'm going to specifically be looking at its settings. How does it allow you to set up your document so that it can be embossed in exactly the way that you want it? Now in previous videos I've showed how to download Braille Blaster. You download it for free and I've also given a brief overview of this piece of software as well and I've created other videos where I have shown how to, how to download a piece of transcription software which works within OpenOffice and that is called ODT to Braille and I've also just created another video where I look at the settings within ODT to Braille as well and, and look at exactly how you can set up your embossed document. But as I said, this video is going to be focus, focusing on Braille Blaster. So let's open it up. Just to let you know, if you have any difficulties opening up, particularly if you've just done a Java update, then please let me know via the comment section because I've just come across a little bit of a bug after I updated my Java settings. So, once we are in Braille Blaster, we can access the settings within the Braille menu here and then we need to look at translation templates. So you can see we've got all of these tabs and different properties up here. Our first set of settings relate to the page properties. We can either choose regional or go to cells and lines here and the cells and lines apply to these page margins at the bottom. So let's leave it on regional now what you can do is you can set your page size we've got some I'm interested in these British page sizes here but these top ones relate to North America more and then we've got the width and the height of the page you've got your lines per page and how many cells you want per line and then as I said at the bottom you've got the margins that you want for your embossed document the next tab is all about translation and the settings for this. So you can choose between English, uh, British English or American English. So I'm going to choose British English and then you could do um, uncontracted which is called grade 1 for us or con contracted which is grade, uh, sorry, grade 2 and then we've got uncontracted UEB and contracted UEB if you want to set it up for those settings as well and then the final translation is actually do you want computer braille to be used. Let's have a look at the next tab relating to page numbers so do you want uh, the page numbers to be in braille you can choose yes or no of course and then where do you want them to be on the page, do you want them at the bottom or the top and your printed page numbers if your embosser can do both do you want those to appear, do you want them at the bottom or the top and then finally we've got our advanced properties which allows you to set the minimum amount of lines per page and the minimum amount of cells per line. So there you go, those are the settings that you would use to set up your document ready for embossing within Braille Blaster. Thank you for watching this video. As per, if you have any comments please leave them below the video and I will get back to you. Thanks for watching.